Yeah, so check this out. I just caught my first ever Dragonite. This is the greatest day of my life. Hey, what's going on guys? Sandy here and welcome back to some more Pixelmon. Now dudes, as you know, two days from now, this coming up Thursday, we have to defend our honor in the gym, and we have to defend our our family. <laughs> we can't let our family down. <laughs> oh gosh! So, and uh, uh, earlier, I think it was yesterday or today, Neo got on, and he made this here. This is for our coming up. As you guys know, this coming up gym battle, what we have to do are three Pokemon that we catch. We have to throw them. He said in the goblet of ice. And then it's all randomized with this button this coming up Thursday and we'll all three get a random Pokemon. So, so here's the deal. I read in the comments on the last video and I have two of the three Pokemon so far. And the third Pokemon is over here in the birch forest. Now these two Pokemon that I have, they're all set up and ready to go. I'll show you these in a second, but first, uh... Off to the birch forest! We, we made it! <laughs> this freaking slime sling is awesome! Okay, so like I said, I need to find this last Pokemon. Once you, once you find out what this last Pokemon is... <laughs> what the freak am I thinking? Okay. Let's see if I can find this thing. This is a huge birch forest, and it only spawns at night. And keep in mind, this, uh, this battle, we have no clue what we're gonna end up with. And, uh, like, as you guys see, I'm bringing a Dragonite to this battle. It's not a typical Dragonite. You may be thinking, oh, good, a Dragonite. A typical Dragonite, it can one-shot everything. That's not what we're doing with this Dragonite. Like I said, I'll show you these strategies uh, once we find this last Pokemon. If I could actually freaking find this thing. De Death Killer, Death Killer, help me find this last Pokemon. Deep within the forests of the birch is the Pokemon. <laughs> the ever elusive, the ever creepy as crap, Mr. Mime. <laughs> Listen to him. B Mr. Bibe. Mr. Bibe. Mr. Bibe. <laughs> oh, gosh. Now, I have a strategy for Mr. Mr. Bibe. Bibe. He he's going to be extremely useless if you don't know how to use him. But if you do, he's got some use to him. So, Bibe. Uh, Mr. Bibe. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's throw our, uh, hold on. What level is he? I can't see his level. Mr. Bibe. Uh, let's throw our scythe. Ooh, level 49. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, bag, pokeball, duskball, since it is nighttime. This should be a sure catch. <clears throat> Sleeping, one hit point, nighttime, duskball. Come on, Mr. Bibe. There. <laughs> we just caught Mr. Bime. <laughs> okay. Let's throw out Mr. Bime, and I have this ability here called Mr. Facade. Bime. I'll show you this strategy in a little bit. Let's go ahead. Let's give Mr. Bime... M M Mr. Bime! Bime. <laughs> Let's give him Facade in place of Light Screen. There we go. Okay, so what we're going to do, let's head back to... Uh, yeah, right here to the Move Tutor. I want to teach uh, Mr. Mime. Right. Look at all these moves Mr. Mr. Bime can learn. Okay, let's... L what I want him to learn is trick. And I'll show you why. Let's let's get rid of Psybeam for trick. And now the last move I want uh, is double slap. Yeah, yeah, Okay, so click this and double slap right here for substitute. Okay, so this is the move set we have. Double slap trick facade and quick guard and i'll show you why so let's start from the top 
are Dragonite. So what this Dragonite does, I've been, I've looked for freaking ever in between episodes for the perfect Dratini that had this ability here, which is called multi-scale. What multi-scale does is check this out. It reduces, it halves any physical damage done to me, done to my Dragonite when it's at full hit points. So check this move set out. Here's the move set. The first thing we have is Dragon Tail, which what Dragon Tail does is if I hit a Pokemon, it switches out that Pokemon with another Pokemon, meaning it it can't do damage. Meanwhile, I'm doing damage to it with Dragon Tail, and keep this in mind with multi scale. Next up, we have Thunder Wave, which makes it to where I paralyze the Pokemon hit. Which means it has a lower chance to do damaging attacks, which means I'm at full health, which means I'm taking half damage. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Next up, we have Substitute. What Substitute does is it takes 25% of my Dragonite's HP and puts out a Substitute for me. And what that does is it has a Substitute out there at full hit points which also has multi-scale. <laughs> so if I do take damage, I could throw out a substitute with full health that takes half damage. And then my last move, which is Roost, which heals me for half of my health. <laughs> this is freaking troll as crap. So, <laughs> what we're gonna do, let's fight this trainer here, and also keep in mind, I also have this, uh, this held item here, which is called Leftovers. What this does is every turn, it heals me for, I think, 1 16th of my health. <laughs> okay, so let's do this. Dragonite, let's throw him at this guy. Okay, okay, let me fix my camera. So we're against the Blastoise. So let's test this out. If I throw a Dragon Tail at him, he won't be able to attack me because he'll have to switch out to another Pokemon. And I'll still be at full health. Here we go. Wait, why did he attack first? Does Dragon Tail always go second? Hold on, let me, let me look this up. I mean, it has a negative six priority. Is that what that means? I don't know. I mean, we're almost back to full hit points because of our held item, uh, leftovers. <laughs> Get a freaking rat game. We can also do, uh, 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 Thunder Wave, right? Which now he's paralyzed, right? He can't move. So, now I'm back to full hit points. I take half damage. <laughs> and also, we can do Substitute, which... Put, like I said, puts out a substitute of the Dragonite, which takes a quarter of my health, but also has a substitute Dragonite with full health that takes half damage. Watch this, substitute. Look, that did a quarter of my health, right? Which means I take half damage, or less than, which I take normal damage, but like I said, my substitute, Dragonite's leftover restores some health. <laughs> And then also, since our substitute is currently out there taking the damage for us, we can use Roost to heal ourselves. <laughs> and then we, we can just do Dragon Tail. And just use Whirlpool. Mm -hmm. The substitute took damage for Dragonite. So the substitute took damage for Dragonite, not damaging me. We're still at full health. And my substitute is still out there. <laughs> Let's go ahead. Let's paralyze the Furligator. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then let's Dragon Tail the Furligator. <laughs> the substitute took damage for Dragon. So my substitute isn't even dead yet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is so freaking troll. My substitute is still out there. Let's go ahead, paralyze Typhlosion. He used Swift a critical hit. The substitute took damage for Dragonite. They haven't even went through my substitute yet. Is it? Okay, there we go. Now my substitute is dead, right? But uh, my Dragonite only took 15 hit points of damage. And I'm about to heal that back up because of my held item. 
<laughs> What's you substitute again? <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so troll. I am literally taking on a level 75 trainer. I'm level 56 and they can't touch me. This is good. <laughs> Let's do Thunderwave. Swampert. Oh, I can't do that on Swampert because he's a ground. That's fine. Let's do Dragon Tail. Let's get him out of here. He used Muddy Water, which wasn't very effective. My substitute took the damage for me. <laughs> and my substitute just faded away. That's fine. Uh, are we, we're almost back to full hit points. Let's do Thunder Wave on Blastoise to paralyze him. There you go, uh, Blastoise. Have fun with that. <laughs> Let's do Dragon Tail again. This is so tilting. <laughs> I'm done. You guys get the basic gist. Let's run from this. You guys get the basic gist of Dragonite. He is annoying as all crap. Oh my god. So next up is my tentacle. And keep in mind, these strategies, like this Dragonite strategy, if you don't know how to use it, it it's going to kind of suck. So, yeah. I know how to use it. Those two probably don't. So next up is our Tentacruel. What this has, it has Rain Dance, Protect, Toxic, and Substitute again. <laughs> but keep this in mind. I have this ability here, which is called Rain Dish. And what Rain Dish does, whenever it's raining in the battle, like I have Rain Dance right here, which makes it a Pokemon Rain Day, I heal one sixteenth of my health. And also, I have this held item here, which is called Black Sludge, which when it's held on a poison type Pokemon, it heals me for one sixteenth of my health. So I'm healing every turn for one eighth of my health. <laughs> so let's do this. Level 52 Pokemon versus level 75. Okay, so this is a Blastoise. What we're going to do, let's do Toxic. Okay, he did good damage to me, but I'm going to heal up 1 16th of that right now. So now he's poisoned, right? And I'm healing myself. Now what I'm going to do, let's throw out a Substitute so that Substitute takes damage instead of me. So let's do this. I avoided the attack, and I just used Substitute. Now I have somebody to take my damage. Meanwhile, I'm still healing from wow. my sl uh, uh, Black Sludge held item. And he's taking poison damage. Next, what we're going to do, we're going to do Rain Dance. So I'm healing for one eighth of my health. There we go. <laughs> he, he, just, he just tackled my substitute. The substitute was faded away, but that's fine. We use Rain Dance. And he's damaged, and we're going to be healing for one-eighth of our health every turn. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, we're going to use Substitute again. Oh, no, no, no. Let's use Protect. I forgot about this. You guys know what Protect does. It protects me from the next attack. So let's do Protect. He used Aqua Tail. I protected myself. Did no damage. Meanwhile, I'm going to heal for one-eighth of my health. <laughs> and he's poisoned from Toxic. Look at this. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I, if I use Protect again, it has 50% chance to be effective since I just used it. So let's use Substitute. Oh, wait, hold on, he hit me. Oh, Substitute failed because I'm too low on health. Dang it, that's fine. Keep in mind, we're also fighting level 75s when I'm level uh, 52. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do now is let's use Protect. So he can't kill me. Blast. There we go. I protected the tackle. And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to keep regening my health. So what I'm going to do. Hold on, hold on. Let's do. Rain Loyal. Dance is still out there. So I'm still healing. Uh, uh, let's do. He might kill me Turn here though. Let's do Toxic. Okay, I use Toxic. Oh, it doesn't affect Boy. Empoleon because he's Steel. Dang it, that's right, that's fine. So, 
Our level f what, what, what level? My level 52 Tentacruel just took out a level 75 uh, uh, Blastoise. <laughs> so that's the Tentacruel strategy. We heal endlessly. We have Protect and Substitute. And keep in mind, we have Toxic to apply a serious poison to him. And last but not least, our Mr. Mime. Our Mr. Mime! <laughs> Okay, so before I get into that one, I want to test something. Uh, I'll show you the Mr. Mime in a second, but I want to test something with our Dragonite. Let's take on uh, Benry's twin. I want to see how long our Dragonite can survive. Okay, let's throw this. Uh, hold on, let me fix my camera. Uh, oh, I guess the ho -Oh. oh, good lord. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm going to do... Let's do... Uh, let's do substitute. Toot. Actually, let's do Paralyze. Oh, he did good damage. That was halved because we were at full health, but now he's paralyzed. So what we're going to do, let's do Substitute. Okay, he didn't do much damage. Now we have a Substitute out. Let's do Roost to heal ourselves. Okay. Dragonite was healed. Uh, Ho use Extra Sensory. Uh, okay, so he could the the hoe just killed my substitute, but we should be at full health soon. Okay, we're almost at full health. So what we're gonna do Let's do substitute again Okay Extra sensory I took some damage uh, Okay, my substitute faded away. Okay, here we go. Let's do roost We're at full health, so we're not gonna take much damage from this next attack <laughs> We only took half of our health and keep in mind our level, my Dragonite's level is level 56. We're fighting against a level 140 ho -Oh. <laughs> So let's do Dragon Tail. Okay, now we're against an Articuno. Oh, good lord. This is an ice Pokemon. Well, it has ice attacks against the Dragonite. Oh, no. Let's do... Substitute. <laughs> okay, so our Dragonite, for being under like a third of that Ho-Oh's level, survived forever. Good lord. Okay. Last up, let's show you our Mr. Mime. So this Mr. Mime is all but useless. <laughs> But also has a secret if you know about the secret. So check this out. On my mist my Mr. Bime, I'm going to put this item here, the black sludge, just like I put on the tentacruel. But since Mr. Mime isn't a poison type, instead of healing him, it's gonna deal one sixteenth of his health uh, health of damage per turn instead of healing him like the tentacruel. And I know what you guys are thinking, Sunday, what the freak do you want that for? If you don't know about this, you are, if, if let's say Crater or Jordan get Mr. Mime, he's going to slowly kill himself unless they know the specific uh, strategy. So check this out. What I do is throw out Mr. Mime, Mr. right? Mime. Mr. Mime. <laughs> so here we go. I am going to be taking damage Bye. each turn because of the black sludge. But I have this move here, which is trick. Which what this does is it'll switch their held item with my held item. So let's say I switch it with one of their Pokemon that isn't a poison type. Instead of me taking damage, they will. But if they don't know about this strategy, they're going to slowly be killing themselves. So let's go ahead. Let's do trick. He just one-shot me. I'll be back in a second. Mr. Mime sucks. We all know this. Let's try fighting someone a little bit lower of a level because Mr. Mime sucks. <laughs> Let's throw this out. Okay, Mime. level 35 Kabuto. Drowsy. So if I do trick, use trick, Mr. Thank Mime switched items with Kabuto. Drowsy. Kabuto received a black sludge. So now their Kabuto has black sludge. He just scratched me, that's fine. So let's see if Kabuto loses health. He just lost health from the black sludge. Now check this out. Since he's losing health, I'm pretty sure if I use facade, since he's technically poisoned, 
Facade will do double the damage, right? So if I use Facade, let's do this. Ah, oh, it wasn't very effective. Wait. Shouldn't it... Shouldn't it do double the damage, though? Hold on. Let me look this up. I thought Facade... Maybe because they're not poisoned from the actual black sludge. They're technically not poisoned. I don't know. Hold on. Yeah, so apparently the move Facade doesn't stack with the held item uh, of black sludge. Which is fine. I guess what I could do... I know I have uh, another toxic... Uh, yeah, right here. Another toxic saved up. So let's go ahead. Let's give Mr. Mime... a uh, Mr. Mime! <laughs> let's give him toxic Mr. instead Mime. of uh, uh, quick guard. Yeah, let's get rid of quick guard for toxic, right? And what this will do, as you guys know, toxic does damage over time. So what we could do is Mime. do trick, right? Give Give the other Pokemon our black sludge, which poisons them. And then also do it's toxic... Mime. Which double poisons them. Let's see. Oh, he avoided the attack. Come on, you stupid fur ferret. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now he's poisoned twice from the black sludge and toxic. And then if we do facade, since he's poisoned, this does double the damage. Let's see if this one shots him. No, it did. Freaking Bime. Mr. Bime sucks. <laughs> he is such a useless champion. All right, not champion. Did I say champion? I mean, uh, Pokemon. I play League of Legends too much, but but there's my strategy. I need to get myself another Black Sludge, which is really easy to craft. But uh, anyways, dudes, for now, I'm going to end this here. If you guys are looking forward to this next battle coming up this Thursday, be sure to hit that like button down below. And also, if you're at all new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Lately, YouTube has been derping like crazy. I don't know why, so... 